Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you my final research paper presentation. It's about learning Japanese through anime. So I'm gonna let you know a little bit about facts uh, about Japanese and anime. It has nearly 120 million people who can speak Japanese, but most of them can't come from uh, Japan or its origin country. This is because uh, the language itself lacks uh, reach uh, to many other Asian countries or even countries around the world. Nevertheless, uh, the start of anime has provided a lot of people with an easier access to the language to the language and the motivation to learn it. True anime. You can practice listening skills, helps you as a way of practicing your pronunciation, and you know the talking or con conversation style of Japanese people, and you can read the words out loudly very easily. Okay, reasons. Uh, one of them is its rhythm. Uh, its rhythm and the anime presents like a midpoint, like a middle ground kind of type of thing where uh, you are able to learn the rhythm as as well as since the language is very repetitive, so it it allows one to hear same patterns in a repeatedly manner with use while using anime to do it. And uh, the T's are important to understand because we will not be able to absorb all words you learn by just watching anime, obviously. You, you should ensure that you are an active participant during the learning process. So you should really um, active, like really want to learn and study and then even write. After learning some Japanese, we'll be able to pick huge different between pick up huge different, pick up a big big and huge different <laughs> between formal like usual conversation you know with your friend or the informal by with use in anime like uh, if you want to say something to your boss if you go uh, internship to Japan one day and. There's a different style of way, you know, uh, usually depending on your social status also and age and intimacy. And it's just another great way of learning imp and improving your Japanese, you know, by reading it and listening it especially uh, without all subtitles but subtitles in Japanese uh, and it, it also improves your writing also for it the examples are you should really start from the basic and to more complex anime like more hardcore kind of type of anime when or where you can do this anytime anywhere actually you can watch now on your phone on your computer or even on your tv at home if you have an hdmi cable that you want to connect obviously to uh, to your laptop or computer why just why because it gives you a chance to learn something new improve your anime experience because you can watch it in original language that's a big deal especially for me uh, it's it's hard or it's even hard to wait for a s English subtitle to come out not only dub it says dub is much harder but it's even much harder with the English subtitle because if you watch it with the English subtitles instead of the Japanese uh, you never know if the translation of it, the subtitles uh, cracks together with the with what it's saying. 
and you gotta you you get to learn the culture the Japanese culture a little bit and you, you got to appreciate it too how the learning process I watch anime in Japanese I read the subtitles in Japanese and I watch and listen for pronunciation with it context and even facial expression so you can see many of these things on the end on anime and you should definitely get a Japanese and English dictionary to research certain words and meanings because sometimes what you watch on anime should have its own definition or meanings even though it's a long sentence the long sentence could have its own only one meaning in English and the the third and last thing is just practice 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 makes it perfect right so conversational learning uh with anime so the conversation part is uh, really based on honor firstly the honorifics anime and manga can be a great way to get a broad overview of all different types but remember to be careful because sometimes they can see you as rude because they are older than you or they are younger than you so you really have to be careful and uh introduction to keigo it's a bit this is a bit where you used a bit of your informal style where like if you work or if you do an internship in japan which is i would love to be to go someday to do internship there uh, the best place is uh, really try <laughs> try to practice like the the regular common phrase that you would need to to ask or like to do a conversation with your boss when you get to in Japan and yeah you just again you have to be really careful with it uh, they they might, if you come to Japan or if you do an internship there, uh, they might understand you because you, you know, you, even you don't speak Japanese well, they might still understand you uh, that, okay, you know. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that much, but you still have to be really care careful. Even, even if you learn some words on anime, you should do research yourself also. And uh, third and last thing is really expressing feelings. Sujo anime is like that type of anime is like shonen, but it's like sh a bit of for female viewers. It's like battle. I don't know if you guys know anything about the uh, um, what's it called uh, Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon, uh, it's kind of like that. So it focuses really a lot for female viewers. Even though I generally don't, I des generally disagree a little bit with that because it helps a lot with guys also, in some ways. But yeah, like how to say like, I lo I like you, you know, in Japanese. So it really helps a lot with anime. It shows you a lot. Uh, to be uh, a gentleman or how to be a, a wonderful woman to express your own feelings thank you very much for uh, listening and uh, I hope you like my presentation and uh, stay safe everyone goodbye